Our dearest Heavenly Father, we come gather today honoring your love, your commitment that you have for us. Lord, we praise you and we are grateful for this occasion that we are celebrating today. Lord, I lift up Kobe and Stephanie to you and I ask that you calm any nerves and put your loving arms around them today. Lord, I ask that you bless them not just today, but tomorrow and all the days of their lives. Lord, I ask that you fill their hearts with kindness and help them to be a loving, supportive, and forgiving couple so that they can face the cares and problems of life more bravely. Lord, thank you for the gift of marriage and what it represents to becoming one. Lord, it's in your name we pray. Amen. that God would bless me with an incredible man that would one day become my husband. Little did I know God had already placed that man in my life. He was just outside playing airsoft guns with my brother. <laughs> Our love story is truly unique. Over the span of my life, I've gotten to watch you grow into such a hard-working, loving, and faithful man. A man that your papa would be incredibly proud of. I cannot see my life without you. You are my best friend and soulmate. This opportunity to spend forever with my best friend is truly a gift from God. On this day and every day forward, I'll choose you and our love. Tennessee. That's beautiful. Congratulations. Yes. I was wondering about my tie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a good day. Yes, it is. To my wife. So the day is finally here. Seems like it has taken me an eternity to get to this point. It's cliche to say I feel like I've known you my whole life, when in reality, I have. We grew up together. He yeah. kicked me off the trampoline, chased me and Brandon around with the golf club, spent many days and nights at the ballpark with us. Day by day, into year by year, I've watched you become the incredible, driven woman you are today. Switch from a best friend's annoying little sister to the beautiful, intelligent, caring love of my life. Hebrews 1.11 says, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for, and assurance about what we do not see. I have high confidence in our goals and dreams together. In faith, everything that we aspire towards will happen. As long as we always pursue and place God at the center of our home and family, there is nothing we can't do together. So today I vow to honor you, and respect you, support you, and encourage you. I promise to dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk through whatever life brings. Today we celebrate the joining of two families who have for over 20 years become close and like family already. Kobe's been uh, one of my brothers. 
brothers, one of my many brothers that I have. Um, I lost a brother a long time ago, and I had a pretty empty void during that time, and they kind of filled that for me. He was one of the biggest ones, and he was there for me. And we were on a we were on a trip, college trip, one time, or a long time ago, and. I remember, uh, remember when Papa Apostle passed away. It was a hard time, but we were there for each other, and I knew what he was going through. And uh, we've always been there for each other, no matter what. And then, Cat have always been a second family to me. <laughs> and you deserve this more than anything. <laughs> so Kobe, take care of my girl. <laughs> Genesis, God created the heavens and the earth, day, night. He created everything, um, plants, animals, life. And after all of his creations and all of his works, there's one saying after every verse, and it is, God said, it is good. The Lord God said, it is not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him.